I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. Hey, this is Michael McFarlane. You're listening to The CLE Show. Welcome to the CLE Show. My name is Mike Sandy. I am your host, and I have a nice little announcement to make. I have recently partnered up with Critical Rewind Studios, and we will be working together in the future. So, I will have plenty of brand new content for you with all sorts of different stuff. We got some new shows coming out, all in due time, though. Coming up at Music Links and Met Around the Lake, you're looking at Ron Jeremy, May 4th, and we have Micro Wrestling, May 11th. On the show today, I have all your favorites. I have A Killer's Confession. I have Michael McFarland. I have Lee Verth. I have Call Your Shot. Right now, we're going to start off with A Sense of Purpose with Heirloom. You're listening to The CLE Show.
Check, check. This isn't even fucking plugged into anything. Really? Not a bad way to spend the Sunday. You're an inanimate fucking object! You're listening to the CLE Show. No, fuck off.
got the CLE show. I'm here at the Critical Rewind Studios with Conniption Fit. How are you guys doing today? Doing wonderful. How about yourself? Excellent. Awesome, man. So uh, I just saw you guys uh, last Sunday at the Foundry in Lakewood. Yeah. Killer performance. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Loved it. Um, mixing in some new stuff to the live stuff? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a lot harder to sing to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot harder to play as well. So you notice on a couple... Th- one of the newer songs. I don't sing a whole lot because the guitar work is just retarded. I'm like, you know what, Steve? Have fun. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I hate you. This is the hardest song we've ever written to it sing. It is. The, I, sat, I was I literally sitting in the house when I was writing the lyrics because I have a whiteboard Yeah. when I'm writing the lyrics. And I was like, I had to stop, make a Facebook post. I was like, these fucking guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going to tell you so. This is a bullshit. <laughs> this new song is bullshit. Yeah. Just overwriting. Yeah, it's, and I think yeah. I think that I also <laughs> took on, because uh, I like to theme my songs yeah. know, a little bit. It was pretty uh, pretty pre- presumptuous. Yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, 
pretty difficult. So it's like concept. it's like uh, the song's called Evangelist. Okay. And it's the parallels between uh, cult leaders like David Koresh uh, from Waco, Texas, uh, Jim Jones. Um, what's the, what's that other Marshall guy's? Applewhite from yeah, the uh, that case Heaven's my Gate. Favorite. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Great. He's like, it's recycling. I'm like, well, where's your green garbage bin, bro? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, uh, but it's the parallels be- between those because uh, it's fascinating to see. I mean, uh, David Koresh was from the Davidians, you know, like the David Koresh, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, he was in a church, you know, and then he got his own sect, and then it was a cult. It was just like... It's crazy how fucking people do that. They're like, oh, very just fine line. This guy now. Very fine line between a cult and <laughs> yeah. a religion. I mean, yeah, it's I mean, frightening how close they tiptoe right. uh, back at and forth. Right. Look at all the religions throughout history. I mean, mm-hmm. this, somebody just had this God given idea. Yeah. You know, and people and ran like, with it. And I, every one of them's like, you know what? 10% of your money, I'm going to need that. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm going to keep funding this. <laughs> so. When did you form this band? It's been a long time. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I started it back in ooh, high school, you know, and um, it was just a bunch of kids jamming around. We were like, oh, I bet you we could get some pussy with this. And, <laughs> and we did. <laughs> and, uh, but then we went through some, you know, we just all, luckily, everybody in the band loved playing music, and um, we went through... A bunch of different members from Ted, who used to sing in Psychosis, his cousin Roy, our old drummer Troy, and Kami Mike from what band was he in? Um, Burning so, the Affliction. Yeah, and he was in um, Altered. Uh, actually, they were a pretty big touring rock band for a yeah. while. Like they were in Europe and stuff. And yeah, and uh, I mean we, and then MODF Mike and Resist from Brad and. Uh, Jay, Jay and Joe were both actually in Karma and Lost in Exile at one point together, and randomly we. we so are, this is like yeah. a super band. From oh yeah, all your yeah. Old yeah. Bands. like we've, everybody's the, been in some other pretty well-known yeah. band. It's all the here. best yeah. members from those bands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, and everybody else from those bands, they're they're just they don't play anymore, or they're right. just now starting to do yeah. a new project. Ted, Ted's right, because Killing a June right. and joins in Killing a June yep. too. Well, what do With you think? my old bass player from MODF, yeah. Joel Swedenborg, he's in their band now, so yeah. it's very, it's come full circle. It's so, what do you rare. think attributes to that? Like people having kids and just life happens. Yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's like when you have like uh, different balls in a bin and you start <laughs> shaking them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the they level. They water finds its own level. Yeah. You know, I think that's what it is. You find who you work with and who you don't. Right. Unfortunately, sometimes that takes you. Uh, you re- everybody kind of reverberates on their own frequency, and eventually, you're kind of drawn to other people that have that same frequency or that same outlook or same long-term goal with with the project. You know what I mean? Like some of the guys, they were fantastic players, but they didn't really want to do much more than get together, jam, write music, you know, play one or two local, local right. clubs. You know what I mean? They didn't have any aspirations to tour, to to put out records, to make money. To, they just did it for fun, you know, right. in their basement or whatever. And we were like, no, no, we're, this we're, is, this is way too good to sit in, and sit in our practice spot. Yeah. We're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> so, um, you guys went on like a full band hiatus for a while. Yeah. It was, uh, four months um, back at the end of last year, uh, I think we did our, we did our last show on my birthday on December 9th. And the only reason we even did that show, it was at the Cove in Geneva, was it was a uh, uh, it was a benefit for uh, a good, good friend of ours, Bob Griggs. He passed away, and so we got a bunch of old bands together that we that hadn't played together in years. We're like, hey, we're doing this one for Busy, you know, to raise money for his family because you know we know how insanely expensive you know funerals can cost. Right. Well, you uh, obviously have some awesome stuff coming back from your hiatus. and That was really the whole point of the hiatus was like, look, we – so Curse Your Kind, we, you know, we, we put that one together pretty fast. We basically toured in support of that for a year and a half, and we're like, all right. So then we put out Venom of God, and we had that done – like eight months before we put it out. We sat on that material for a long time, released it um, last March and just crushed the sales on it. And so that whole, whole last year, 2017, we just, 
we just played the shit out of that record live and everybody loved it and we're like all right we need to write new stuff you know we that's to grow as a band we gotta we gotta start doing something that's really involving all the, the current members now because we've had our bass player joe yop and our drummer uh, jay henderson for about three and a half years and you know they had only came in towards the end and we had already basically had almost the whole venom record done and so they put their like their their flair on it but they didn't really get to have a lot of creative input on how the songs were put together and stuff. Right. So now we're like, hey, we're doing this as a whole. We need you to be involved in this. Right. So the the direction we're going now is like it's so much Very more complicated. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so much more progressive and diverse. We have people are like, oh, so you're so you're getting more you know mainstream, more melodic. It's like, well, we have one song that's like really pretty and epic, and then we have this other song that's just that right. much more brutal. So it's like we're expanding in both directions simultaneously now instead of, you know, everything kind of having a similar style like on Venom. Yeah. You know, there was it was pretty diverse, but it was like, you know, you, you had a sound and they all kind of fit the description mostly, except for like Paralysis, that was just like a radio rock song. But now everything is just like, all right, uh, all, the rules are, gonna, all the rules are out. Right. We're just going whatever we do. Balls to the wall. They're like seven, eight-minute epic pieces. They're <laughs> insane. So it's, yeah. it's really awesome. So uh, that's probably pretty taxing on stage playing those huge yeah. epic songs then. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you get no breaks for like 20 minutes. And you're like, all right. So Steve's like, all right, so uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing? I'm going to die up here. All right, next song. Jesus. <laughs> we'll see you in 20 more minutes. You know, like. <laughs> My girlfriend goes, we were watching a playback, and she goes, you look winded. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> you see me breathing hard? That's, this is, that's winded. <laughs> so how does your stage dynamic work? Do, like, So do you specifically write songs to where you know that you're going to be fucking dead after this one part so you take over on vocals uh sometimes he's like no nah, fuck you you're just gonna have to scream <laughs> yeah all yeah. the way through this and then go right into singing. right right in, yep. like sometimes it works out in his favor and sometimes he's just like so what you're telling me is i have to hold this 30 second brutal tonal scream then go and then sing yeah. I'm like yep <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep that's yeah. exactly what's gonna happen sorry about your luck <laughs> yeah we have a part in Devil and Poseidon, where it's uh, oh my god, the first time that we did Ooh. it, he looks at me and he's like, "No, we're not doing us. Like we're doing, we're doing it." <laughs> oh yeah, the, the very first chorus, right before the the like the breakdown in the middle of the song. Yeah, it is so hard. You have to. We just have to. You like, have to know where to take the breath. You have to use your your air conservatively. You can't just Bleh, because the part is so long and, and there takes so much force to like hit those notes with such power that by the end of it like the first time that we did it we looked at each other and we were like that's almost not. passed out oh my <laughs> like, God. Not, we, we both were like we need to figure out where to take the breath yeah and your right. breath is literally that's it that's all yeah. you get yeah you have oh another, yeah you go <gasps> the by the way as by melissa way. cross would say <laughs> by the way <laughs> so does your songwriting dynamic like in the studio um i guess how does it how does it work with you guys do you guys write you we'll know, come the, up the with the a melody and then okay. we'll come to the studio and Mike will change it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Not, it's not always the case. A lot of times our producer Matt Tarek from Vimic, he'll actually be like, you know, that's really cool, but I know you have like all, we'll, we'll actually a lot of times end up recording a bunch of like harmonies and all these patterns and stuff. And he'll be like, you know what? Just, just for, just for shits. Let's, let's try this, and then we'll do something even more complicated, more difficult than the thing that we just did all these layers to. He goes, you know what? We're gonna do that. Do all of that all over again. Yeah. And then he'll come in and be like, but the next day you come in, I'm, it. Like, I'm like, dude, we literally in, did I'm that like, an hour ago. I'm like, but that's not what we wrote. <laughs> He's like, it is no. <laughs> and, and and to be honest, like every change that Matt has made has been good. Oh yeah. Most you of the time, nine, nine times out of ten, it's I had the I was just like yes, absolutely, and right. then there'll be that one where I was like, hey, what if we did this? And he'll go, yes. So we're like we're on the same wavelength when it comes to to the creative. So, you know, yeah, you're working cycle. very closely with yeah. your producer. Oh, yeah. he brings out our best work. I mean, yeah. he's like, you know, just just do this, and I'm like, I, I can't hit that. And he goes, <laughs> yeah, sure you can. And yeah, I'm like, sure you can. No, you gotta... I can't. And he's like, all right, <laughs> I'll tell you what, tell you what, all right, just step away from the mic. Run in place a little bit, throw your hands up in the air, you know, sh shake out your, your wrists, you know, just, you know, turn around, you know, touch, your, touch your toes. You know, all right, all right, all right, now do it. And then I'll nail it in one take, and I'm like, how? He goes, thinking about magic. You, yeah, you, 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 yeah don't about overthink it, man. He's like, you can do it. Just, you know, you're, you're putting, it's not about how hard it is or how high that note is. He's like, just 
just know that you can do it and just bam and just nail it. Right. And then every time it's like, oh my god, one two takes trying, and it's done. I'm like, I'm oh. always trying to get him to put robot voices on Jesus. the fucking. On the, oh. I got him to do it on Venom of God in one song. He's Alchemy. like, he's like, no, it's uh, Path, Path. Oh yeah, the yeah. finally, yeah, yeah finally yeah. the surface, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. And he's like, "Why do you want robot voices?" I'm like, "Cause robots are fucking sweet." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "What's get that Voxer tone?" <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do it in uh, Devil too. He's like, We're "No." Not. He's like, "Dude, you're not a robot." <laughs> <laughs> So your producer, honestly, is m- your main influence in the studio, then? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, I mean, like... We because he'll, he knows the material, you know, right. we'll send him scratch, you know, tracks and stuff like that, or he'll sit in on a session and be, be like, yeah, you should do these songs, these are the tightest, these, these all are cohesive together, let's do these, and then he'll have a couple days to kind of sit and figure out some ideas... And then he'll be like, yeah, this part here, maybe you should do this. And then sometimes he'll make us write a brand new riff in the room. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> and the nice part about that is, like, <clears throat> we have a song. We have a zillion songs. It's stupid. But we have, like, a, um, two and a half hours of material yeah. that we play. <laughs> That's not yeah. including, like, the 60 songs from previous lineups and years gone by that we threw away because right. we're, like, we don't, we're not that band anymore. Right. But, <laughs> like, when he comes to a session uh, – and he'll be like, that sounds rushed or that sounds X, Y, Z. Uh, like, Nine of Cups is, like, one of my favorite songs to play. Uh, he's like, there's a z- too many lyrics in it. He's like, there's a zillion lyrics in it. And there's some jittery parts where it feels like you're just smashing yeah, them it's together. Yeah, forced, you know. Yeah. He's like, we got we to gotta really smoothen that out, maybe cut some syllables out. Give you some breathing room. Because yeah. right. you know? right. when I'm doing it live, I'm just fucking cruising, just you know. Going. Yeah. But I can't do that in the studio just because I don't. I don't know if it's the atmosphere or what. But you oh, can't. It's totally just, the atmosphere. Yeah, the I've energy. Gone, I mean, dude, I've played a lot of shows myself, and I've been on so many stages, dude. And I've only been in the studio a handful of times, and every single time I'm in the studio, I fucking suck. Yeah. I just it's, can't <laughs> get it done, and it's because you're. Not, it's not your element. Oh, yeah. it's. I think it's. Vocals in the studio are the worst. Oh, it's, it's the so worst. It's so awkward because you got you got this like weird tunnel sound. You got the right. headphones on. You're so isolated. Hearing myself from the music. talk is one thing, yeah. but hearing myself sing in real time is like just fucking horrifying. Oh, yeah. I hate hearing my vocals. Yes. In the he- like I literally will have one headphone on and I'll pull the other one pretty much all the way off and I'll like plug my ears so that I get some natural bass response. Otherwise, I sa- it sounds to me like I'm this. You know, right. like just... It's robot horrible. voice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it sounds just so... You cool. are a fucking yeah. robot. And then he goes, hey, he's like, you ever recorded with uh, reverb on your vocals? I'm like, no, what's that, what's that like? He's like, He's like, you trust me, you're going to love it. Oh my God. I was like, oh my God, it doesn't sound like I'm singing a tin can. <laughs> So, do you guys have any, like, favorite touring stories? Because I know you guys traveled a lot. Oh, man. I actually have a bunch of funny stories. Dude, I, we have so many Because I knew ridiculous. that that was going to be... Uh, oh, he uh, took notes. He did his I homework. I did. I did Bravo, take Steve. I know. He's hitting me up last night. What are the questions? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I uh, fucking wrote this before no, you guys got one of my <laughs> One of my favorite things was just recently... We uh, we sometimes just stop on the side of the road and like in a rest stop and make breakfast, and our drummer, it was the funniest thing. He's like, "I'll make breakfast." Oh my god! I'm the best at making eggs. He's like, "Oh, I'm really good at making <laughs> eggs." We're like, "All right, cool." You know, Brad was gonna do it because he's already making eggs and pink. But whatever, sure, have fun. So he's like, "I'm gonna make scrambled eggs." <laughs> so simple. So he's trying to crack the eggs into a red solo cup, right? And it's not. It's just bouncing off. He's like. So then he takes it, the an empty like what is that simply orange yeah. orange juice thing you know it's yeah. got the like the the tapered green yeah. plastic cap so he's got it on the edge of this table <laughs> he's got his cup on the on the cor- edge of the cor- the table he goes to crack the egg it just explodes <laughs> shoots it shoots the egg right off the side of the table right into the garbage can he does this like three times in a row and I look at Steve and I am just dude we laugh for like twenty minutes we're just crying Jay goes on the bus and crawls into his bunk and he just he just like we're like. So Brad finally makes it. He cracked like eight eggs. We're like, dude, was, are you going to eat all these I'm fucking like, dude, eggs? I can see. I'm like, if there was many ingredients. But the ingredients for eggs is eggs. 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 And it's part eggs. of making eggs is cracking them. <laughs> and I'm like, I thought you were good at this. I was like, how do you cook these? with? The, are you hard boiling? <laughs> what are you doing? It was just, I mean, it was, it was absolutely hilarious. It was just. 
I would say that and probably when we were at uh, Nelson Ledges. Oh my god! Which we're actually that doing another. So fun. We're doing another camping trip, except this time Mushroom Head won't be playing. Thank yeah, god. it's not. It's not going to be a festival. I mean, that was that was a cool experience to play. I've always wanted to play the Corey stage, but it was kind of a mess. But it was a lot of fun. We uh, we had two hundred and forty beers and five S- bottles. No, seven bottles of whiskey. Oh yeah, well Holy I shit. have. It was frightening. <laughs> and when, when we camp. left, when we left, there was like what, like five Budweisers in the yeah. cooler left, and no liquor. We're like. Oh I was trying to get. I was. I was doing my best to see if I could get just Mike to punch Greg. Kelly. Oh my God! <laughs> Shut it down. And then, Anthony was just like Anthony Narcisi was like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you? Why are you agging this? And I was like, I'm drunk. I want to see a fight. I want to see this. Greg get punched. <laughs> if anybody, anybody is familiar with Greg Kelly, if they've ever been in the Cleveland music scene for like the last 15 years, you know he deserves to get punched a lot because he owes. Everybody money. Everybody. We literally had, uh, everyone. He probably owes your grandmother money. I swear to God. We had uh, Nick Gerald came out. I was making pork chops, right? And I was just drunk. I didn't barely He didn't have, even cook them. They were like, barely, so, you know, like <laughs> it was like you were zombie ripping flesh I barely off. had I mean, him in the fire. And he's like, we're just sitting there. Because he was, me and Nick have been friends for a long time. He's, he's like, in my, dose. Yeah, he's like been one of my favorite vocalists like in the air. I, that dude can wail, man. I'm not a huge fan of Dose, but man, Nick can fucking sing, man. That dude's great. So he comes over, and we're getting shit faced. He's like, "Are those pork chops?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" They are. <laughs> what do you eat? Like eight of them? <laughs> <laughs> dude, he was just grabbing them. It was, dude, it was like a chicken wing, grabbing it and just ripping it off the and bone, just... throwing it away, grabbing it. <laughs> it looks so funny. And they were raw. Man. I mean, these things were literally flame kissed. I mean, it was they were pink on the inside. Oh, it was it was the one of the funniest. Th- and he's just like. I was like, I don't think those are done, man. He's, like, <laughs> just, he's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't think care. so either. <laughs> he's just smashed. No, they're, they're blue rare, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <they're, laughs> it's a I'd good say time. that, and then we're c- coming up with characters on the bus. Oh, my God. So I have uh, Mick the trailer inspector. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, because I skateboard around when yeah. we're, like, at the thing, you know, at the rest stops and stuff. And I see Brad. He's like, hey, I got a bunch of gay guys in the bus. So I'll be skating around, and I come back, I'm like, hey, you playing a band? Hey, you in a band? I'm like, nah, man. He's like, what's the trailer for? I'm like, oh, that's where we keep the bodies. He's like, oh, the dead hookers. Yep, only the good parts, though, right? So we've been rolling around and just, like, we'll be playing. Uh, it, a Cleveland thing is, like, the quick on and off of the stage. Dude, you know go I mean? anywhere, go an hour and a half from Cleveland, and it's unheard of. Like, I mean, they're they're p- taking, putting on and taking the cymbals off of their stands on the stage, putting all their guitars away in the cases on the stage, and we're going, get the fuck out of here, man! Because <laughs> yeah. we're used to the guy going, hey, you guys got ten minutes, let's go, or you're gonna, right, you're gonna lose, right. you know, five minutes of your set time. We're like, fuck, and they're like, you guys set up so fast because we have to. So right. I've been coming up with a pirate. He's like, not following the code. <laughs> you get all the guys shit off the stage first. <laughs> it's like, that's, I mean, we were in, uh, What's, oh, what, Charleston? Charleston. Last weekend, yeah. And uh, <laughs> this guy's taking his symbols off. I'm like, he's not following the code. <laughs> <laughs> so we go up there and start moving their stuff because we're like, dude. It's fucking midnight. <laughs> Let's go. I want to drink some beers. <laughs> yeah, I know. And another thing, weird thing about the the East Coast is that th- it's a really late scene. Like in Charleston, like the show didn't start till ten o'clock. Oh, because the bars everywhere else yeah. don't close at three yeah. o'clock. They close yeah. at so we got five. on st- we got on stage at like quarter to one. And, and played for like an hour and a half. And there were damn. still the people that were there when we got on stage were still there the whole time. We're like, oh my God, how are these people still here? Yeah, people are starting <laughs> to get fucking shit Oh my God. Yeah. They're like, ah, dude, there's girls. There's these two two gay girls. They're dancing. You know, like, I was like, I thought the girls were going to start stripping. I was like, oh my God. Tim, so the one girl turns around, she's like 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was t- dude, I was telling Tim, Tim White, the guy who brought us down, about how you shot the fireworks into the fucking. We were at Freestock, and I was telling Tim, because he was like, oh, I'd love to come up and fucking see some shit. I was like, dude, you got to come up to Freestock. I was like, last year, Mike shot this firework into the sound booth and exploded. It was amazing. It was actually, <laughs> I, so I, I learned my lesson. I will never buy fireworks uh, 
from anywhere but Ohio, <laughs> and there won't be anything but professional grade American made because these ones we got, we bought some in West Virginia, we bought some in Indiana, and they were like kind of cheap, old Chinese. There's a reason why they were they're affordable. One of <laughs> out of all the stuff I had, one of them it was a little small like six shot like one inch mortar. It just catastrophic failure. The side of it blew out, and it just started shooting the fireballs fuck? out the side. One of them hit Sean Huffman from Fallen Empire, like 300 yards away. It hit him in the arm, bounced off, hit the sound booth, then exploded. And everybody's at the deck, and we're like, shut it down. Party's over. It's over. And then if one flew into over by uh, Adam Duke's yeah. tents and exploded, I was like, dude. That better not have went in the tent and exploded because somebody's dead. Yeah, it was, dude, it was crazy. <laughs> Good but times, yeah. though. Yeah, free stock is. That's. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That's again one this of my August. favorite things about being in a band is all the cool stories. It's just like, oh hell I yeah. come home and I get to tell my girlfriend all sorts of shit. She's like, please don't die. <laughs> you're like, you're don't like die. man, we've been partying and haven't slept in three fucking days. We just headlined three shows in a row. This is the life. Yeah. <laughs> just, I actually got paid money. To work to run sound at that festival, and I just used all the money to blow stuff up. I was yeah. like, "All right, you pay me to run sound. I'm gonna light up fireworks and get fucked up. It's great. It's good time, man. It was great. It was such good time. It was really fun. Freestock. What is it? Year five this year? Something like we've that. We played the last three years in a row. This will be year number four. I for fucking us. love playing that show. We actually set time aside out of all of the shows so we can make sure we play that show. That's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. super fun. You gotta come. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's free. It's out yeah, it's free. Well. Hell yeah. Free camping. Hey. You like drinking beer? I love drinking beer. You, you like, like watching music? music? <laughs> yeah, I love music. <laughs> you Got like two good stages, foods? good bands. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Take food. Yeah. Hell of a party. We rage all night, literally all weekend bring until a kite. Sunday I'll fly night. One with you. I always bring. A... <laughs> <laughs> Run around in the morning, try to sweat out the booze. Oh my god. <laughs> So you guys are coming out with a new album next year. You're working on it now, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Black Horizon's the name. Black Horizon. So do you have a tentative date? No. No. <laughs> I I would love to say you know late winter 2017 or 2018, but we're I, gonna go I, back yeah, in time. Yeah, we're gonna go back in time. Living I, in the past. I'd love Mike. to say December, but I know how we operate and I know how much how many shows we have. So both early this next summer. Year. Yeah, yeah if because good. we basically we're looking at like we have a little bit of time in June to maybe get into the studio here and hammer out a few more tracks. We, we have, have a couple three singles days we've off done this summer to write. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm. It's probably going to be late winter or maybe early spring next year before we can release. Because once everything's recorded and mixed down and mastered, we're still going to have probably four months of prep. You know, um, at least the artwork's done this time. That was the whole back on Venom of God. We was getting the artwork done because we did it yeah. all ourselves. We got an art guy that really helped us out this year, Ben Rocco. He used to yeah. be in um, End in Echoes. He's got a new project coming up, too, now. So Yeah, it's excellent, too. But So, yeah, I, I would say probably late winter or early spring next year. Cool. So where can people find you online? We are on, man, everything. we're on everything. YouTube. <laughs> Uh, Except iTunes. Pandora. Yeah, pa Pandora. They're like, all right, so we have um, distribution through a company called DistroKid, and they basically get you into every every social media possible. Like, you know, you get iTunes, Google Music, Amazon, um, Music. Amazon YouTube, uh, Spotify, and Pandora was one of them. So six months go by, where, and where we're are still we? not on Pandora for our first record. So this was three, like two and a half, almost three years ago, and we're like, what the hell's going on? So... Then I go on to Pandora, I contact them, I resubmit a curse of your kind for them to put it in, in rotation. Three days go by, they email me back and basically go, fuck you. They go, yeah. so um, your your material was not approved. We don't like to, t to tell why it's not approved, it's just not, so have a good day. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Right. I heard a band on there called Planet Diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're better than that. I know it. <laughs> so, so we're literally on everything but Pandora, yeah. because fuck Pandora. But yeah, yeah Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google, Amazon, Amazon. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Cool. What's you your next show in Cleveland coming up? Ooh. <sighs> I actually have that as well. Yeah, smart in his guy. notes. He's, mm. he's I took notes. notes. I was like, hmm, I should probably be prepared this time. Um, particularly Cleveland, we don't really have much coming up in Cleveland. We have a couple things out by us. Yeah, and okay. every, almost everything else that we have booked this year is literally out of town or out of state. We have or, a show tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, in Kent. 
Yeah, the 420 show with uh, Life Through Portraits, Black the Sun. And then the next day we're doing... Uh, the McAlpine Meadery. Meadery in Beach City, which is out in somewhere in Canton. It's like yeah. an hour and a half south or something yeah. like that. That's with our boys in Fallen so, Empire. Yeah, Fallen Empire. And actually, Cholera from Cleveland, they, they jumped on it. Yeah, which, no. I'm really pumped. We're like, we're going to blow the year. fucking doors off. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, I don't know if they're prepared for what they're I know. I actually Probably I mean, not. I've seen a lot of indie acts. That yeah, like, I don't know what Jeremiah <laughs> was thinking, but I'm like, thanks for having have us, bro. Ever, have you ever seen... Uh, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. Yes! Oh you my know god! Yes. When the guy you know where, the in the beginning comes out, they're all the, the fucked beginning. up food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel that the show's gonna be <laughs> like looking at each other like, uh. I'm gonna be the juju be the head butt somebody. <laughs> like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> I mean, but yeah, that's it, uh that's with Fallen Empire at the meter, and I'm super excited because uh it's basically like everybody in the band's like, we're drinking. Oh, Pretty yeah, and from what I hear, that place is, like, the, the mead there is fantastic. So we, yeah, we have the bus. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, like, right after that, we're in Toledo on May 4th. and uh, Defiance. Defiance on the 5th. And then the Music Factory, May 12th. Bunny and the Bear at the Music Links on May 18th. And Indiana at Cheers on uh, the 19th. You know, we got a lot of shows coming up. Cool. So. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for sitting down with me. You got Mike and Steve from KFit. Thanks thank for you having so me. much, man. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to listen to Unglued from you guys, awesome. and then we will be right back. You're listening to the CLE show at the Critical Rewind studio. Hang on. You don't hate
Attention book lovers! Are you tired of shopping the big box stores? I sure am. I hate those places. Do you long for the cozy feel of a local bookshop? Especially if it's Lakewood. Yeah, definitely. The bookshop in Lakewood is for you! It's definitely for me. They've just moved to offer a more community-friendly shopping experience. It's a family business. They will be having a grand reopening in April. Follow them on Facebook for updates and events and the grand reopening celebration. Look them up on Facebook at The Bookshop in Lakewood. They do have a cat. His name is Hobbs. A familiar name from my childhood. I might just change my name to Calvin and start living there. Come to The Bookshop in Lakewood. It's the only place you really need to go for books. Go for the books. Stay for the cat. Leave with a mutual respect for each other.
Check, check, check. This isn't even fucking plugged in anything. Literally. Not a bad way to spend the Sunday. You're an inanimate fucking object! You're listening to the CLE Show. No, fuck off. Tonight, I feel like sin I'm finna get into. But see, that's what the Hennessy and Jenna do. And I've been scoping, you already know I'm feeling you. Visualizing, fantasizing, different ways to get into you. And I don't mean to come off cynical, I'm just being original. Let's skip all those subliminals. I'm the nigga you are, and you just what I need right now. As I breeze through the clouds, ain't no need to fly down. Come on, you should be to my house. Lovely, lovely, long time. Come hop in my fly Mercedes, baby. Just for tonight, I beg you, man, you my lady. I know she's sneaky with it, but she freaky with it. So let's cut off the lights and me and you, we can get it. Shit, if I got my own little name. Nasty girl, to come and play in bone bones, nasty world. He's a high, let him stay there. Kind of a stay fair. Go fast, but no safety, baby. Go fast, me no safety, baby. He's a high, let him stay there. Oh, like a kind of a stay fair. Go fast, me no safety, baby. Go fast, me no safety, baby. You gotta love it when baby can do both. Cause I'm always on the move in the meeting over show. In the boardroom, 750 million. Up. She's so dope, only go diggers know Bitches only looking for a nigga with some dough That's why I always keep a freak on the low I'm having fun, but this shit was getting old This the one, and she told me that she'll never let me go I'm in front of you, behind you, about 69 you Put you in a place for no one And my black widow, my widow, widow was a roller Now my widow know you really want my money But I play I'm like that, then would you cash that? Cash that, all you can have that Never seen a brother get his cash back Who you laugh at? And we still smoking, we choking Blunt out wide open We gon' be lit on some other shit. Pop off the impassive, baby. Tonight you be my nasty, baby. Keep on burning. 
eternal flame keep on burning God, God, God. We keep on burning this eternal flame Yeah, yeah, feel like we came back from the dead Still smoke, still feel like a smack to the chest Still mash up a show, spectacular set How you gonna draw blood from Dracula's neck? Picking up dust, my trainers be muddy I just wanna stay on point like P-Money Gorilla Glue got my eyes a bit bloody MDG can be a big gully Hot like eternal flame Drops of that purple rain Popping cause I'm glammed up And that's how I shall remain Never bend, I never sway Burn forever and a day I can show you how to do it But you gonna have to pay I know, feel like only some of y'all woke Now a lot of y'all hear me, but a lot of y'all won't I'm a real life kind, I'm a real life guy That's word to the squad, H-I-I-Y Can't put it out, so why, why try Been here, many moves, no fly by night He burning this flame that shine so bright It's MDG, oh my, 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 oh my, my, my Smoke screen with another one And we still number one We gon' do it to death until there's nothing left And we make our return to the fucking sun This flame is eternal This flame is eternal You never gon' stop it You touch it or burn it Eternal flame, keep on burning Eternal flame, keep on burning Eternal flame, keep on burning We keep on burning this eternal flame You tell me you're the gruff, so I compliment your beauty, but that wasn't enough You fiend for my attention, and I fell under the tension Am I crazy for what I say, or do I have nothing to gain? I wish I could sleep away the pain I wish there was a remedy for the insane I wish God would flood the world, so I could pull the drain I gotta be a man, yeah, I live my own campaign My thoughts were all on you, now I gotta clean my brain You messed up bad, now you're the one to blame I thought you were my one, I thought you were my main Till you made me number two, now I can't even say your name I'm crazy. Run it up, run it up. Cause you don't think I know what you've done. Okay. But when you call me, baby, I know I'm not the only one. I always ask the question should I stay or should I go? They tell me, do what makes you happy, but I don't really know. They'll tell me to love and just never forget. Now I'm feeling crazy cause I just wanna quit All because of you, you just won't commit Now we're sitting playing games and I just never win So we pick another fight screaming baby please Heading out the door and I'm feeling naive You start me at the front saying baby don't leave So how could I give in when she's tearing off strings You took our situation and made it ten times worse How can you tell me stay when you're nothing but a curse I want you out my life, you really need to go Before the bottles come out and I'm drinking myself slow I can't stand alone Look at you and seen what you've done But slowly by the hour I want you up and gone I'm crazy. Run it up, run it up Like this, you ain't gotta dress like this, you ain't gotta fuck like this. I ain't 
trying to bring it to the past But you know I got that ass on lock I ain't going nowhere, you know I'm in check The way these dudes looking at your girl, I ain't stressed Still crack jokes on the way that I dress Every time you smile, girl, my soul feel blessed Fuck boys, never really talk about it I know I'm sensitive and don't talk about it I sit back and promise you things You just want me to answer when it rains As a man, I just want to make you feel safe As a man, I've been trying to find my own place Cause I'm human, things keep getting in the way But they ain't no excuse the way I be I wanna get closer I wanna get closer I wanna get closer But I don't wanna change you 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 Just do what you do Feelings now change on a day to day Insecurities talk on a day to day Where you been, who you with, you ain't say shit When she thought this, you ain't never hiked this She getting jealous and you know you really like this She met a friend and she claim as a friend But you see him getting closer She say she don't know, but she buy new clothes And you never did though, gone Ain't got time to be lied on, spied on Your whole vibe wrong, I heard the girl that you danced on Was an asshole, you asked what I'm mad for What you laugh for, now we fucking in the bathrobes Now I'm mental, start thinking about the negative Love her, but I hate her, tell me what it is If she left me, I wouldn't know how to live I guess I'll settle the way it is I wanna get closer, I wanna get closer, I wanna get closer, but I don't wanna change you, 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 just do what you do. Yo bullshit turn to my bullshit. I don't love you, but I kinda like you. Sex kinda good, so I wiped you. Regrets when you're looking at my face. Got kids, so I never ran away. New taste, so I got my own place on a dating scene again. Bag of dimes again, lost my common sense. And yeah, moved on up like it's good times. But we still call each other like it's old times. I can't place my finger when we went wrong. But when we see each other, it's the same song. Where you been, who you with, you ain't say shit. Then I see a crooked smile break upon your lips. Then I kiss your hand and I grab your hips. There's no excuse the way I've been. I wanna get closer, I wanna get closer, I wanna get closer, but I don't wanna change you, 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 just do what you do. Every day more time goes by But now one more day Is ever gonna be the same Staring into a cloudy sky Calling out your name With just a few thoughts on my mind Nobody knew you like I did from back when we were some youngs Steady thugging like we're grown and always trying to do something Don't know how we got away with living careless and crazy Blacking out and waking up ready to get for the same thing Some of us now with some memory for the bit for you too You never stopped until the end and I remember with you We never saw this coming, now we gotta lay you to sleep Rest in peace, I promise always do the best and I'll be my brother's keeper Every day more time goes by But now one more day is ever gonna be the same Staring into a cloudy sky Calling out your name With just a few thoughts on my mind Blame the dealer in the shadow slang and jump to our friends Blame the farmer companies that kill us all for their ends Blame the cops for cracking down on misdemeanors like cannabis Blame the system that refused to find the right way to handle this Blame my friends for being selfish, killing themselves Blame the whole damn world and then look at yourself and ask What did I do to help? Every day more time goes by But now one more day is ever gonna be the same Staring into a cloudy sky Calling out your name With just a few thoughts on my mind Hard to be strong when they're dropping like flies See a circle thinning with their demise Losing the fight to care when you always see it there Another day, another death, there's no tears left to spare We understood you struggled, yet we abandoned our brother You lost the battle, but you never lost the way that we love You know I can hear your voice when friends fall to the evil Be the one to be my brother's keeper Every day more time goes by But now one more day is ever gonna be the same Staring into a cloudy 
the sky Calling out your name With just a few thoughts on my mind Every day more time goes by But now one more day Is ever gonna be the same Staring into a cloudy sky Calling out your name With just a few thoughts on my mind She said to me, and now you've got me wanting you so desperately. I lie awake, wishing you were next to me. Don't you know? Oh, oh, my love is like a record. Always skip to the same track. It never sounds quite the same on the playback. My one track heart is humming in your haystack. Be a needle, so oh. So can we skip right to the good parts? Looking for a new start Just one beat the two hearts Skipping oh, oh, oh I know nothing here can keep us down Synchronizing sacred sounds Tables turn the record around Everybody else's volume dropped and all the noise Dissipating distant aftershocks is like a choice Between a desert and a deluge, aqueduct, let it flow Oh, oh, so can we skip right to the good parts? Looking for a new start Just when we put two hearts Secret sounds Tables turn the record round Skip it, oh, oh, oh To the song you wanna hear again Skip like a hot you shot to laugh and then Skip like a child through the air again Like a lack of skipping sauce Hear me now Skip to the song you wanna hear again Skip like a hot you shot to laugh and then Skip like a child 
This isn't even fucking plugged in anything. Really? Not a bad way to spend the Sunday. You're an inanimate fucking object! You're listening to the CLE Show. No, fuck off. When I 
out in the rain Just a heart with no brain In a shell made of skin and bones Like a robot programmed to make mistakes Washed out by sound waves I'm drowning and it's okay Reciting my own verses I relearn my own name And I'm right where I started Down day to day Wish I could howl at the moon 
That's all the time I have on the CLE show this week. Thank you so much to Mike and Steve from Conniption Fit coming out and talking to me at Critical Rewind Studios. Thank you so much to Anthony and Jerome for putting up with me because I'm needy. I need shit. And they help me out. So that's great. Make sure you check out all the shows coming up at Music Links. Make sure you check out all the bands that we played today. Thank you so much to each and every band every single week that submits new music to me because without you, I don't have a show. Thank you so much to you as a listener. We will see you next week. You're listening to The CLE Show. Later. This is the part for generic let's go. Cupin' scooted, find my place, bro You say you're young and you're dumb and reckless Learn some new words like you're fucked and pretentious 